they they're they're in another little firefight and Owen's trying to quickly get his mortar up and they drop a they drop a mortar around the way a mortar works you drop the mortar into the, the round into the tube and it fires mm-hmm. if there's a misfire it's really it's a scary situation because so if the, if you drop the mortar into the tube mm-hmm. and it doesn't come out it doesn't mm-hmm. shoot well now you've got a live round yeah. inside the mortar tube so you have to literally pick up the tube and let gravity pull like let the let the mortar round slide out and you put your hands there to catch it yeah Wait, not, why does it explode? It's not on like a timer or nothing. It's no, like, it's, like yeah, it's, it's, it's got a little impacting. detonator yeah. that makes it shoot. And you've got a little propellant um, around the fin that makes it go different ranges. Yeah, yeah. But essentially, you drop this thing in there and it's supposed to shoot out. Yeah. And it, when it doesn't, it's a scary situation because now you've got a live round inside your mortar tube. And in order to get it out, you, you, you just lift the mortar tube up and you kind of pour, pour it, it out it into out. your hands. Yeah. So... They get a dud round, and there's a bunch of things that can call it, cause a dud round. Some of it can be, you know, a bad batch of ammunition. But that's what's going on here. They get a dud round. Dud round. Try another one. I told Wing. Again, they're trying to get some mortars down range, so they're in a panic situation, and they're getting shot at. By the way, too. Dud round. Try another one. I told Wing. Kelly yelled for us to hurry up. Wing asked me to wait while he checked the tube for an obstruction. He grabbed a long stick, which he shoved into the tube. He pulled out a cleaning rag the cause of our misfire. It was it was careless that we had not checked the tube for an obstruction before we fired. Winget said, I won't tell anybody about this if you don't. <laughs> and he says, shut up, damn it. I yelled at him. And this is the reason I highlighted this because he said, my fear showed itself in anger. Mm. And I think that's an important thing to think about. We all know, we all know when someone's getting mad, that that they're probably afraid, right? They're afraid of something. That's so we all see that. So if you're in a leadership position mm-hmm. and you start losing your temper, it's it's very visible to everywhere that you're just scared. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you might be also frustrated, but it's showing you what it's showing is that you're losing control of your emotions. Mm-hmm. And that's why we can't do that in leadership positions. Mm-hmm. You can't do that. That's why it's so much infinitely better to remain calm. Yeah. When uh frustration like all this stuff so if you go into a situation where, where you're scared you know so a lot of times especially if you're like a, an alpha type person or a powerful person you go and you feel that fear it's basically the fear kind of is this feeling of, of weakness so you, a natural tendency this goes for pretty much everybody natural, yeah is to is to bounce back so so you your natural way to invoke power is a, like this anger aggression type attitude so when you know leaders or whatever when they feel that fear it's like oh my powerless it's like a subconscious thing i'm powerless right now so i gotta i gotta fight back so comes anger yep. in this point and and the thing is what you just said we all humans know that instinctively yes, so when you see a leader start to act like yeah. that it becomes very clear <laughs> yeah, yeah. that there's some emotion there, some fear, some frustration, some anxiety. Yeah. And that's going to spread, by the way. If I start panicking and start getting crazy, Echo, you got to get this done. You know I'm scared. So now you're saying, wait, if Jocko's scared, yeah. I'm scared too. Yeah. And now we start having issues. So try and remain calm is the, is the basic principle. So 